Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, of course, I've got in the last uh, 24, 48 hours a comment that I get from time to time. It's been a long time since I spoke about this. You know, when is it time to reinstall Windows or do I, you know, install Windows from scratch every time? What, what do I do? What's my logic behind it and so on? And here's the thing, okay? For a lot of people, Windows will be used and it'll be years and it's going to be fine and it doesn't crash, doesn't have any problems, and it'll be fine. What usually happens, and it's so slow to develop that it's difficult to notice, Windows will slowly get a little more sluggish month and year after year. Uh, and this has to do with, you know, the updates that are here every uh, month, the software that you might be installing, updating, removing, uh, the different things you might have tried, settings you might have changed, um, all sorts of things will slowly make Windows a little slower. But like I said, it's so uh, small of a difference, you know, that... We usually don't really see it until the PC is really sluggish and really, really is, um, you know, going down to a crawl. So um, that's one of the things that might make me want to reinstall. Um, how about, you know, it's getting, seems to be get, getting a little sluggish. A reinstall usually of Windows, a clean install of Windows usually is the best deal. It brings back to life a PC that was slow because you just removed all the crap that accumulated over the years, and it's not a bad idea from time to time to do so. Now, what would, what's my recommendation and what do I do? Well, I pretty much leave Windows alone, except for specific um, tasks, specific reasons. One, if I am to move on from a Windows version to a new Windows version, for example, I know that most people, when they move on to Windows 10 to 11, well, they get offered through Windows Update, the uh, Windows 11 upgrade. They click that button, and they just move on. And for a lot of people, that's fine. But I would actually recommend that rather than doing that, you should be doing a clean install of Windows 11 instead. Now, you can upgrade to Windows 11 if you want, uh, because the upgrade is free. If you do a clean install, it's not. So, of course, the first step would be to do a clean and to uh, do an upgrade uh, for sure. But um, if you have, particularly if you have issues, I see a lot of people, well, you know, I upgraded from 10 to 11. Well, that's the best way to have problems, honestly. When I see people saying, well, it crashes, has issues, it's like, yeah, because when you moved from 10 to 11, you moved also everything that was made for 10 into your 11 operating system, which is not necessarily best compatibility. You might have old drivers in there that are Windows 10 drivers that might for some reason not work well in Windows 11 because you need a new version. So people that will upgrade from 10 to 11 will usually have more issues in Windows 11 than people that just clean install Windows 11 because it'll just have all the latest, greatest, and will be will not you know move the crap from the old version to the new version at the same time. If I have crashing issues, if I have anything that's a uh, weird you know happening to the system, that's when I'll do a clean install. For example, uh, these are a few times that I will actually clean install Windows. But for the most part, I'll leave the system alone for you know a long time. The PC I'm using here is a, an Insider PC. This one I've not clean installed in, in a long time, uh, a few years. My gaming PC, I clean installed when I moved from 10 to 11 on it because I had moved from 10 to 11, but I wanted to have a nice clean install for 11. Um, the other PC I have is a Windows 10 PC. That one I haven't clean installed or changed anything since I purchased. It's still on the same install of, what, three, four years ago when I purchased that little mini PC. On my Acer gaming laptop, that's now part of my um, big screen TV in the living room, 
I have clean installed for the reason of because I've changed the hard drive uh, in it. And since I changed the hard drive, I decided that the best thing to do would be to do a clean install, just install from scratch. I rarely clone and do things like that because, honestly, if I do a big change like changing the hard drive, let's, it's time to reinstall from scratch and, uh, you know, just make sure you don't lose anything so you make backups and stuff. But um, unless I have problems, I usually don't really go much into the clean install. So uh, to make it simple, when would I clean install a PC if I have problems, blue screens that I didn't have before? If I find that it's maybe slow compared to you what it used to be, I'll do a clean install. And for the most part, changing Windows versions often will be a clean install rather than an upgrade because it'll just make... You know, I won't have the crap from the old install move on with the new Windows, uh, which will work probably a lot better on a clean install than an upgrade process. But for the most part, most people just, you know, follow the flow. So if, if there's Windows 11 upgrade that's uh, being offered, they'll just upgrade. And for a lot of people, it's fine. But sometimes, you know, it's not a bad idea to do a clean install um, over years. Um, sometimes you get that speed back that you used to have and you find that your, uh, it's, it's the best way to find that your PC was slow because you clean install not having all the crap that it had before will often show you that, wow, okay, it's, it's fast and zippy now. It's back to what I remember my PC being. Uh, and on an old PC, uh, you know, a clean install sometimes can give it just enough speed that you might make a difference and decide, well, you know what, I'm still going to keep this PC still good enough. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.